Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back for another tier list video. And this will be the final Dinosaur King tier list I do because we are doing the super moves. So last time we did the moves, the normal move cards, and now this time we're doing the super move cards. So this will be an interesting one because a lot of the super moves are pretty much damage based. So for this tier list, I'm not going to just consider how good a move is. But I'm going to consider how cool it looks. You might see some that may surprise you. The main factor will be how cool, how um, effective the move is, how decent it is, how what it does, la di da di da Pretty much the same way I rank the normal moves. Right, without further ado, let's get started. And we are kicking off with Air Raid Storm. Okay, so Air Raid Storm is one of those special moves that always attaches to your dinosaur's crits, and then you've got to tap the signs to get the, the maximum damage. One benefit of these moves is that the damage is set so ignores type disadvantage. I believe it ignores like earth barrier, defense buffs. Yeah, it pretty much ignores everything and the damage is set. So that is one advantage, but I'm gonna put them in rogue. They're all gonna be in rogue tier. I wouldn't recommend using them. I think there's better options out there. But you know, for what they are, they're right, Aqua Javelin. Now, Aqua Javelin is a paper move. Um, it's one of those special moves that activates after a win. Well, that sometimes activates after a win and you do extra damage. These moves are pretty solid. In fact, all of them are really good. Aqua Javelin is an A tier. Aqua Vortex. Hmm. Aqua Vortex is an interesting one because you have a move called Move Block, which basically does the exact same thing. But with Aqua Vortex, you need to take damage, hope it gets triggered, and then hope that you win with a tie. So I'm gonna put it in C tier. I don't think the move is that great. The damage is not great, and it does do the move removal for consecutive turns, I believe, but if you lose or get a tie, you miss your chance. Or a win, you miss your chance. I think it's a C. I don't think it's that great, if I gotta be honest. Okay, Aqua Whip. Again, this is one of the damage moves. Yeah, it's, um, it's a pretty cool move. I quite like it. Okay, yeah, it's C tier. This video. Okay, we got one of the secret moves. Um, don't know how to rank them, to be honest. I'm just I'm just sticking all the secret moves into Rogue. Okay, Bigfoot Assault. Um, okay, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool to see Seismosaurus. You get a B tier. You bite in wind. Um, see, the thing with the wind moves is that I always find that some of them suit like the larger wind dinosaurs. And some of them only suit, suit the smaller wind dinosaurs. And for me, Bite in Wind is one of those moves where I think it looks better on a bigger wind dinosaur. You're going into C. Blazing Spin Attack. And actually, on the topic of Bite in Wind, it's a rock move. And Dino Illusion is like one of the best super moves in the game. So, you don't want to use Bite in Wind. <laughs> put it that way. In fact, I'd probably put it in like Rogue Tier. Blazing Spin Attack. Okay, so Blazing Spin Attack, you could use this over Volk Burst, Burning Dash. A lot of the strong fire dinosaurs have paper crits, like T-Rex. Alpha Acro if you use Lethal Type. So Blazing Spin is a pretty cool move. It does look a bit weird on some of the dinosaurs, particularly like the wind types, where the, the smaller wind types. But yeah, I think it's a pretty cool move. It's B tier. Okay, so well, speaking of Burning Dash, want the Burning Dash. Um, Burning Dash, where to put you? You get triggered during a tie. The fact that you're a paper move is very useful, especially if you're using a T-Rex. Do I put you above Blazing Spin Attack? I do. You know what? I'm going to put it in A tier. I think it just about scrapes A tier. I think it's a decent move. I think it's a very good move. The fact that it's a paper move as well. Definitely benefits a lot of the fire types that have paper crits, and a lot of the stronger fire types do have paper crits. Okay, counter blitz. Counter blitz is A tier. You're going straight into A tier. You're a really strong move. I feel like counter blitz is underrated in my opinion. No matter what you do, whether it's a tie or you just win or you lose, counter blitz is a free hit. And how could you not say no to a free hit? When you compare it to like Aqua Vortex and Death Fire and freaking Emerald Garden, Counter Blitz gets triggered a lot. And I probably put it down as the best lightning move in the game. Which is safe to say none, no lightning moves make S tier. Okay. Crimson Flame, I actually like Crimson Flame. You're going into C tier. Based on your coolness, you're going into C tier. <laughs> um, Crystal Crusher, now Crystal Crusher is an interesting one because I think it's After Effect is better than Aqua Vortex is. It's basically Aqua Vortex for Earth Dinosaurs. 
But instead of nullifying your opponent's moves, it reduces your opponent's defense so they take more damage. And I feel like, yeah, I think you're you're a B tier. I would probably pick it over Mole Attack, but I think I think Giga Rock Hammer being Scissors as well kind of hurts Crystal Crusher a bit because people would rather most combatants would rather use Giga Rock Hammer for the extra damage. Okay, now for Cyclone. Now Cyclone is an interesting one because it can it's very good against op opponents that are tie specialists because Cyclone can just ignore a tie. It gets triggered quite a bit even with dinosaurs that have low technique. I'm tempted to put it into A tier. I think it is a decent move. But I think being able to attack through a tie is going to be B tier. Well, here's our first S tier move. Like, it one shots everything. How could it not be the best move? It's the best fire move by a country mile. Death fire is just so good. Like, even, even though it has limitation, for one, you only usually get it triggered once, and that's when you're on, like, really low health. And two, if you get hit or it's a tie, then you don't get it again. So that is the downside. But honestly, the fact that it one-shots everything if you get it off is just so good. And, and the fact that it scissors as well, that definitely helps. It means if you use it on something like a T-Rex, you don't have to waste the crit on Deathfire. And you don't have to win with scissors to get it, get it off. You could win with any sign as long as it's triggered, Deathfire will activate. I think the only move that can actually stop it is, well, Dino Stuffer if it if you win with a crit, and Earth Barrier can stop it. Those are the only two moves that can actually stop Deathfire. Oh, and Dino Illusion as well. Okay, Dino Force is really cool. You're going into B tier. You're at such an epic move. It's like one of those um, animated dinosaur movies where you, all the mincemeat of the dinosaur and kingdom rally together to kill the opposition and just beat the living life out of it. How could you not love Dino Force? It's such a cool move. Would I recommend it in your team? Probably not. Based on coolness alone, it's B tier. Okay, here's our second S tier move. Dino Illusion. And Dino Illusion is like the best win move in the game. Kind of not fair, to be honest. How many times does it get triggered? It's absurd. It's not like Deathfire, where you only really get it triggered once. It gets triggered over and over and over and over again. And like, even if you tie or win the dino illusion effect it stays it's the only cataclysm move when it gets triggered it stays in effect until you get hit it's incredible it's such a good move now there are certain moves that do in fact go through dino illusion i think all the alpha moves go through it so banana surprise alpha dart softening beam do go through dino illusion so that is something to take note of and actually i'm putting it above death fire yeah, I actually think it's better than Deathfire. It's the best Cataclysm move in the game. Pretty much the best super move in the game. It's just so strong. People have been asking me to nerf, to like limit it, to ban it for my tournaments because it's that good. I mean, the only reason I keep it in is because it's a wind move and the, like 50% of teams in my tournaments have fire dinosaurs and hardly anyone uses wind dinosaurs unless you're me. <laughs> so yeah, it kind of balanced out with the fact that it's a wind move and nobody uses wind types. Dino Illusion, like, what? why would you use Biting Wind or Jet Shuriken over Dino Illusion? It's just beyond. We got another move, Earth Barrier. Now, Earth Barrier, for me, I'm tempted to put it into S tier. I really am. You're not sodded. I'm going to put it into low S. I think it's an S tier move. Every, pre pretty much every Earth Dinosaur I see en that enters one of my tournaments has Earth Barrier. Earth Barrier is so effective. It limits the damage you take it gets triggered so many times similar to dino illusion even if you're using dinosaur with like no technique it still gets activated it's it's a really good move but like dino illusion there are moves that go through it like alpha darts well the alpha moves as i said there are moves that do go through it earth barrier is so good it's definitely the best move of its type in the game so when i compare it to other moves vault burst shockwave electric charge nature's blessing and cyclone it is definitely the best out of those six just an outstanding move better than rock roller better than earthquake for me although i will say one it, it is a paper move which does hurt it a bit because there are quite a lot of earth types that have good paper crits and i might might change this but yeah i think it deserves s tier for what it is okay earthquake yeah, you're, yeah, you're consider another move. The, the problem with you is that you're a paper move. You're in consider another move because Earth Barrier exists. Okay, Egg Attack. Now, Egg Attack, I like Egg Attack. <laughs> Egg Attack's B tier. 
Electric Charge. Now, Electric Charge is an interesting one because it does stack with Attack Boost. A lot of people don't know that. The vast majority of Lightning Dinosaurs have very balanced stats. Electric Charge can be really deadly. I think its boost is only slightly better than Attack Boost, so... Uh, it's a rogue. It's rogue for me. Okay, Emerald Garden's an interesting one because, you know, it's a Cataclysm move like Dino Illusion Deathfire. Nowhere near as good as those two, but I think it's in the middle for me. I think it's better than Aqua Vortex. I think it's better than Crystal Crusher, but I don't think it's a... But I am going to put it by here. Heal is really really good. It does get triggered, it can get triggered quite a few times, but it does go away if you lose or get hit with a tie. So you actually have to win while it's triggered. Alright, final thunder. You're pretty cool, but yeah, you're rogue. <laughs> Firebomb! Firebomb's an interesting one. The problem with Firebomb is that it's a scissors move and you have and Deathfire exists. But because I pretty much limit Deathfire in all my tournaments, for the coolness, I'm going to put it in C. Pretty much 90% of Fire Dinosaurs are going to use Deathfire over Firebomb, regardless of having a Scissors crit, because Deathfire is just so good. Fire Cannon! Okay, Fire Cannon is like the coolest fire move ever, and it's going into A tier. I absolutely love it. It's such a simple concept, but I just love Fire Cannon. <sighs> Alright, I'll put it in B tier. <laughs> Okay, Flare Sword is A tier. It's going below Aqua Javelin because Deathfire exists. And Fire Dinosaurs have a dilemma. If you use Deathfire, you can't use Flare Sword. If you use Flare Sword, you can't use Deathfire. Okay, we have Futaba Cannon. Now, Futaba Cannon is one of those moves that gets triggered after a win. So it doesn't do as much damage as a Burning Dash or a Magma Blaster. It's not a bad move by any stretch of the imagination. And it's a cool move. So it gets coolness points. Yeah, it's a B tier. Okay, now we have Gaia Mountain. Yeah, you're rogue. <laughs> I don't really think much of you, to be honest. Gatlin Spark. Gatlin Spark's an interesting one because it gets triggered during a tie like Burning Dash. It's a paper move, just like Burning Dash. You only really have a few... Lightning dinosaurs that can really maximize it. Pachyrhinosaurus come into my mind because uh, even as a tie type, Pachyrhinosaurus has a very high paper crit. I believe it has the highest paper crit out of all the lightning dinosaurs as well. Yeah, it's an A tier. I'm going to put it in A tier. I think Burning Dash has more use, strong paper crit. So yeah, Burning Dash has more use for fire types than, than Gatlin Spark does for lightning types. But Gatlin Spark is an A tier move. We are on Giga Rock Hammer. Now, Giga Rock Hammer, again, A tier. I'm actually going to put it above these two because Earth types don't really have many good scissors moves. Then again, now that I'm thinking about it, Giga having Giga Rock Hammer does limit the chance of Earth Barrier getting triggered. Because if you have these two in the same, these two can't be triggered during the same attack. Only one of them can get triggered at a time. Yeah, I think Giga Rock Hammer does suffer because Earth Barrier exists. Actually, yeah, put it between Flare Sword and Aqua Javelin. Okay, now we're on to Green Impulse. Um, Green Impulse is a cool move. Gets triggered during a tie, but I'm going to put it in C. I don't think it's that good. Like, the heal, the heal after effect is absolute trash. It's garbage. You j what, you steal like a millimeter of health. It makes no difference. It really doesn't. If you stole like a bit more health, then we'd look at something that's a lot better. It's a, it's a paper move and super impact exists. So yeah, green impulse is a C tier. Not really a great move to be honest. Okay, now for heat eruption. Um, heat eruption is a B tier. I think it's a very good move. It has a volcano burst effect, which is amazing. So it does, so it actually does more damage than any of the other tie based super moves. I'm gonna put it by yeah. Yeah, I think it's a really pretty good tie based move. Okay, now for Hurricane Beat, i.e., kick the crap out of your opponent. I actually think Hurricane Beat is underrated, in my opinion, in terms of the wind moves. A lot of people seem to prefer Cyclone or Ninja Attack. Hurricane Beat is dead, can be deadly, and it gets triggered after a loss, so it does more damage than Burning Dash and Gatlin Spark. And it's a scissors move as well, so you don't have to worry about Dino Illusion. Wind types have very good scissors crits. Rugops, Carnotaurus, um, Piatnitskisaurus. Yeah, Hurricane Beat is pretty, pretty decent, and it's worthy of A tier. Okay, Hydro Cutter, again, for the, for the same reasons as Hurricane Beat, is going into A tier. Like, a lot of the stronger water types have rock crits. Spino. Saltosaurus, Isosaurus, um, Paragosaurus, Irritate, uh, the list goes on. Hydrocutter, 
a very solid move and is in A tier for the same reason Hurricane Beat is. Okay, Jet Shuriken is such a cool move, but it's a C tier. It's, in, it's only in C tier because Dino Illusion exists. It's as simple as that. Okay, Lightning Axe. Lightning Axe is going into B tier. Again, it, it, it doesn't go up here because Counter Blitz exists and Counter Blitz is the best Lightning move in the game. Okay, Lightning Spear. You're a pretty cool mover. You're going into B tier. Okay, Lightning Strike is base. Lightning Strike is A tier. <laughs> it's kind of similar to Fire Cannon. You're just such a cool move. I love Lightning Strike. It's one of my favorite. It's probably my favorite Lightning move, actually. Magma Blaster. Okay, you're 100% A tier. Again, similar to Hydro Cutter, Hurricane Beat gets triggered after a loss. Actually, I'll put it below Burning Dash because only really Giganonosaurus that has like the really powerful rock crap. It's going below these two. <laughs> And you don't have to use waste the scissors move either, because it's a rock move. Uh, Mayfly is an interesting one, because it's like Futaba can and gets triggered after a win. Few good win types with paper crits. Okay, I'm going to put it next to Futaba Cannon, but I'm going to put it below Futaba Cannon. Okay, we're on Metal Wing. Uh, Metal Wing is cool, you're, you're C tier. Uh, Mole Attack, you're like, consider something else. Giga Rock Hammer and Crystal Crusher are much better moves. Actually, to be honest, you're you're in you're in consider another move. Okay, nature's blessing. Now, nature's blessing does have a uh, cap of getting activated only twice, which really does hurt it. I'm gonna put it next to cyclone. I think it's a decent move. If the heal buff was better, I would probably put it in A tier. And if it was really good, it might even be S tier. So for that reason, I think it gets a B, a low B. Okay, Neptune stream. Yeah, you're meh. You're kind of meh, to be honest. Like, you work on, like, the uh, Spinosaurid animations, but for the Sauropod ones, you don't look weird. You just, you don't look right. Okay, Ninja Attack. Um, Ninja Attack is C. Again, N Hurricane Beat exists, Cyclone exists. Yeah, Ninja Attack is C. Now, Ocean Panic. Ocean Panic's going into 8. It uh, gets activated during a tie. It can have a Shockwave effect, which can be very useful, I might add, because it is Scissors. Actually, I ain't gonna go that far into saying it's the best water move. It's a scissors move removal move. Like, that's so good. But you could, hell, you could use things like crit block and you obviously the uh, shockwave to force the tie to increase the chance of getting ocean panic off. And then you can do a consecutive move removal, which can be really effective. You can even use tie attack softening beam with it. So ocean panic is the only one of its type that scissors and that gives it a big advantage and for me i think it's the best tie base move out of the sex very very underrated in my opinion and very worthy of his a tier stature um okay plasma anchor i forget what you think i can't remember if it's sonic blast or plasma anchor that lowers your opponent's crit damage yeah it doesn't matter because both of them are going to be in b tier i'll put you just below heat eruption okay now we got quake saber and um, quake saber gets triggered after a tie uh you have sand trap though which is a pretty decent move Sh i'm gonna give it a high b okay rock roller it gets hurt by the fact that earth barrier exists it's, it has its use abilities on earth types that have very strong paper crits so for that reason i do think it's gonna get a b but i am it's gonna be a low b it gets triggered after a win as well so it does less damage than quake saber in fact, it's going into C. Right, now for... Oh, speaking of the devil, we're on the Sand Trap. Okay, yeah, Sand Trap is lower. It uh, increases your opponent's damage during a tie, and that stacks as well. So if you get consecutive Sand Traps off, that's going to really hurt your opponent. The biggest downside is that it has the unfortunate status of being a rock move. So you can't use things like Crit Block on it. And obviously you can't use Shockwave because it's a nerf move. But that does hamper it a bit, but still worthy of eight. Okay, Shockwave... Again, it's A tier. Pretty much on par with Ocean Panic. Shockwave is such a good move. I don't even think it has a cap as to how many times it can get activated. It's, it's consecutive. It can keep activating over and over and over again. And it limits your opponent so much. And I'd probably say, other than Earth Barrier, the best move of its type. In fact, you could even argue a case for Shockwave being S tier. You really could. Hmm, I'm tempted to put it above Ocean Panic now. But no, I, I think they're on par with each other. But I think Ocean Panic does edge it out because of its scissors sign. And well, they're both technique-based moves anyway, so you have the same chance to get off Shockwave as you do with Ocean Panic. Okay, Sonic Blast. Um, yeah, I'll keep it simple. You're going next to Plasma Anchor. I don't think you're bad. I think you're pretty decent. Probably the best paper win move for me. Okay, now we have Spike Arrows. Um, yeah, you're... You're a low C. You're pretty cool, actually. I quite like Spike Arrows. It looks a bit weird on 
some of the earth types that don't have those protrusions. Okay, super impact. Super impact is really good. Super impact's going into A tier. And actually, now that I'm looking at it, I think it's the only grass move to make A tier. Quite a few grass moves have uh, strong paper crits, Shant being, you know, the one that comes to mind first. You have others like Ulti Rhinus, Kreefosaurus. Yeah, Super Impact is just for the same reasons that Magma Blaster, Hydro Cutter are up here. Super Impact is A tier. Okay, we have Fawn Whip. Okay, I know I said Super Impact is the best grass move in the game. In fact, no. Can I, I will take that back and say that Fawn Whip it. Okay, Fawn Whip is going up here. You're not really sacrificing as much as you would if you were using any of these other moves. Okay, yeah. I, okay, I got it. Fawn Whip will go but next to Aqua Javelin. Like Aqua Javelin, you're not sacrificing much. You know, you could use Emerald Garden. Emerald Garden is in no way a bad move compared to what you would have to sacrifice if you use Giga Rock Hammer and Flare Sword. You know, Flare Sword, you have to sacrifice Death Fire. Giga Rock Hammer, you have to sacrifice Crystal Crusher and, and Earth Barrier as well, I might add. Yeah, you don't have to sacrifice much for Fawn Whip. Actually, now that I think about it, yeah. You're going above Aqua Javelin because with Aqua Javelin, you risk not getting many Shockwaves off as well. Okay, Thunder Bazooka, you're a pretty cool move. But you're in, um, you're, you can be a B. Okay, Tornado Toss, you actually deserve C tier. I'm gonna put you, yeah, I'm gonna put you by, I think you're pretty decent. Um, Tragedy of the Sphere, uh, yeah, you're a C tier, you're C tier. You can be with Tornado Toss. Okay, Two Platoon Crush is an interesting one because it gets triggered during a time. So it's basically like Quake Saber. But off the top of my head, I don't think there's many grass types with a very powerful rock crypt. I think Myasaur, Aranosaurus are probably the two that stand out. I'd probably put you below Nature's Blessing. I I would prefer to use Nature's Blessing over Two Platoon. But if you're using something like Maya or Aranosaurus, then maybe Two Platoon would be a better investment. Okay, now for Volcano Burst. Volcano Burst is an interesting one because you have Flare Sword, right? Which basically does what Volcano Burst does. That might surprise a lot of people, but I'm going to put it in Rogue and I'm going to tell you why because first advantages and disadvantages the advantage is that it's a paper move it doesn't clash with death fire like flare sword does as i've mentioned earlier a lot of the fire types have very very good paper crits so you're sacrificing that crit to do a extra bit of burn damage which to me is not worth it so for that reason volcano boost is a rogue move right water sword um yeah you'll see Nothing, not much to say there. Right, we're on to our last move now, which is Thunder Driver. Um, oh, Thunder Driver gets triggered after a win. Got a few decent scissors, lightning dinosaurs. Yeah, um, I'm going to put you by your... Yeah, I don't think you're that great, to be honest. Okay, I tell you, now that we've done the list, how about I rank all the secret moves in terms of coolness? As a little bonus. Okay, so Gigantic Fall, your A tier because you're incredible. Arc Discharge is B. Electro Launcher is C. Crossing Attack, you're based, so you're C. And I prefer Electro Launcher, to be honest. Okay, Dynamic Galaxy, you're pretty cool. You're a, you're an A. Uh, Dangerous Claw, I can't remember what that one is. I think it's the one where he spins, you're, you're C. Uh, Gyro Claw, it's like a lightning spear for fairy. You're a B. Okay, claw blade is S. Claw blade is awesome. I love claw blade. Head diver. Um, that is. I don't even know what that is. You, yeah, you're down there. I think you're the one where you jump, where you throws up, where the head, and then the rainbows come out of the ground. Yeah, you're over there. Okay, blizzard smash. You're A tier. You're pretty cool. Frozen glide. I actually like frozen glide a lot. Laser Ray, you are S tier because you're awesome. Snow Crystal, you are... You're an A as well. Megawatt Stomp, I absolutely love. You're S. Papa Love Love. I think that's the uh, one where he does the uh, love heart thing and you get hit by love. <laughs> you are A as well. Papa Press is a C. Uh, Psychic Bind, you are like the goat. You are so cool. I love Psychic Bind. Papa Roland is... Uh, kind of like spinning attack, but it doesn't really work. So yeah, you're C as well. Quake hit, you'll see. Spin and attack, you're quite cool actually. I like spin and attack. And zero G throw, you are definitely A tier. And I think that's it. Yep, that's it. So that is our tier list, ladies and gentlemen. We ranked all the secret moves. Are there things you agree with? Are there things you disagree with? Pop a comment down below. Let me know your opinion. And yeah, that's it for the tier lists. This is probably going to be the last tier list I do for Dinosaur King. So yeah, if you uh, want to check out my other tier lists that I made like 10 years ago, I'll pin it up there. And yeah, till next time. Ta-ta!